Christ Cup, and this has been uh, implemented, so it's uh, a study to use it. However, there is no additional effort made in order to further lower the prices of Roman services. Seeing that, the European Union came with another regulation that was voted back in 2012, and it will be effective in July 2014. Now, this regulation aims not only to limit the price cap, the price of the level of the but also to change the structure of the market in order to make the market more competitive. The scope of this new regulation was first to further lower, uh, lower the price cap uh, used, uh, add a price cap on the retail price for data users, and for the first time, to introduce roaming decoupling. What does it mean? It means that now an organization, a company, is able to separately sell roaming services. So for the first time, uh, the provider of the roaming service to the subscriber might not be their home network. All this has been done in the context of reaching a close to zero price difference for roaming services and domestic services by the year 2015. What we have to expect with this new European regulation is, first of all, a single roaming market for all the 28, 28 uh, European countries. And by a single roaming market, what we mean is common rules, common rules that need to be followed by all the organizations and all the companies that are about to offer services to subscribers. New players are expected to enter the market, and this will be called an alternative roaming provider and they will be able to offer roaming services to subscribers, and subscribers will now have the advantage of having a different provider for their roaming services and for their domestic services. They, must, uh, they may also have different roaming providers for each of the country they are about to visit, and they might also have a different uh, roaming provider for each of the services that they are using. It is evident that all this will change the market and it is expected that competition will be highly increasing. The operator's reaction initially to the regulation was criticism. Criticism because it is obvious that the regulation uh, puts pressure on the markets and on the revenues and because uh, in order for an operator to comply with the regulation, they have to do some investment and the investment means cost. Nevertheless, operators have started implementing solutions in order to address the European Union around the regulation, and they have also started of, uh, thinking of ways to promote the service to the subscribers. One of these ways is, uh, for example, to offer local data services to roamers visiting their networks. Another mode would be to offer attractive offers to people that are about to travel to some other country and do that prior to their trip. The third option would be to offer a long life home package. The long life home package is a package which allows you to use the credit purchased for your domestic services to be used while you are on it. As we said, lots of organizations are about to enter the market and offer services as alternative roaming providers. An example of them would be, for example, fixed operators, that they would like to offer a roaming service. And in order for them to do that, they would have to, to sign an agreement with a mobile operator in order to offer those roaming services. Another example would be companies or organizations that were not in the telephone market so far. For example, tour operators, airlines, or supermarkets, offering Roaming services alongside the core business offering. An example would be a tour operator that would offer a, a destination to a vacation, a, a travel to a vacation destination, which will include all roaming services paid, for example. Needless to say that uh, such operators, in order to be able to offer their core business offering, they are willing to go below cost in terms of roaming services in order to succeed their clients. Other types of operators, like uh, multinational operators or MDNO Global Group, will try and offer roaming services to all the countries of their presence, making use and exploiting their big footprint. 
under this new ecosystem and the, uh, and the new players and the new rules, uh, Operella needs to take some action in order to manage the challenges of the revenue that is expected. One of these actions would be, for example, the creation of some attractive roaming packages that can be offered to subscribers and entice them to use them because uh, usually roamers tend to use other means of communication and access to communication and services while they are abroad, for example, Wi-Fi. Another option would be to entice inactive roamers. Inactive roamers are uh, people that, while they take their phones with them while traveling, they do not use it. So it will be rather difficult and challenging and interesting, I should say, to find ways to make these people uh, use the services while abroad. A third option would be to manage the subscriber ex data experience altogether. As we said, in the, uh, it is obvious that data users grow, traveling by people grows. Uh, it is important to know that the data running revenue is still remaining at that time. Non-European Union operators currently are not subject to the regulation, so they do not have to comply with price as retail or sales. However, uh, we must mention that there are other places uh, around the globe where uh, such type of uh, regulation is being worked. Um, for example, uh, we've got the regulations of the of Bahrain that is currently working on a regulation that would cover the Gulf states. In addition, Many non-European Union-based companies might decide to offer a own service in Europe by becoming ARPs. In order to do that, they will have, again have to sign a bilateral agreement with the uh, EU operators in uh, Europe. Or they can do that by signing an agreement uh, with a roaming hub, which is quite common these days. A roaming hub is actually an entity that handles multilateral and bilateral roaming agreements between operators. Uh, it is common for operators to use this service now because handling all these types of agreements for all these different types of services and the different, the different types of networks around is quite costly. And uh, lots of uh, operators try to pass this cost over to other entities. And lastly, it is a fact now that uh, the European Commission has acknowledged that uh, the solution, the regulation proposed, imposes increased costs and difficult, difficulties on the technical side of the operators in order to comply with the regulation. So, just a couple of months ago, back in September, what was uh, uh, announced was the Connected Continent Initiative, which is just a proposal which, in summary, uh, urges operators to offer more low roam like home packages in order to reduce roam costs. Actually, if some operators manage to offer roam-like home packages in a number of European countries and cover a percentage of European uh, subscribers, then they will be eligible not to comply with the regulation. Uh, it also, the connected continent also urges for zero charges for receiving calls. All this is good. However, the connected continent proposal is still a proposal. It is unlikely to be adopted in time in order for the status to be clarified in July 2014. So it will not allow enough time for the operators to decide on their uh, in investment in the implementation solution for the regulation they have already started working on. So it is just a wait and see game. Uh, nobody knows what exactly will happen within the following coming months, but we will be here around in order to experience it. That was it. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.